Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. So I hope you guys are doing good and enjoying the SQL interview preparation series. So today I am back with another interview problem. This problem has been part of Airbnb's SQL written interview test. In this video, we are going to discuss the problem and the solution. And most importantly, we will be discussing the approach which led us to fabricate the solution for this problem. But before getting started, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any update regarding my new videos. So let's get started with the problem. So guys, for your ease, I have divided this video into three parts. In the first part, we will be discussing the problem. We will be exploring the ask of this problem. In the second part, we will be fabricating some approach that we are going to use to solve this problem. And in the third part, we will be writing our final query to find the desired output. So first of all, let's understand the problem. The title of this problem is number of units per nationality. Let me read the problem loud for you guys. So basically, we need to find the number of apartments per nationality that are owned by people under 30 years old. In the output, we want to find out the nationality along with the number of apartments. And then we want to sort our records by the apartments count in the descending order. So now let me rephrase the ask of this problem and let's make some notes which we will be referring to write the final query. So the first part is select statement. In the select statement, what do we want to print? We want the nationality and the count of apartments. Right? Now, the second most important part of a query is filter. So, here are we using any filter? Yes. So, we want to filter those people or those owners whose age is less than 30 years. So, the filter that we are going to use here is owner's age should be less than 30 years. Now, since we are using a count function, so definitely there will be some grouping. Now, at what factor or at what data point level we want to group our data. So, we want to find the count of apartments with respect to nationality. So, grouping of our data will be done at nationality. Group by nationality. Right. Now, in the problem, it has been mentioned that we have to sort our records by the apartments count in the descending order. So, let, let me write it as well. Sorting by apartments count in descending order. Right? So, these four points are there that we are going to refer to write the final query. But before that, let's understand the data that we have. So, guys, in this problem, we have two tables Airbnb host and Airbnb units. So, let's explore these tables one by one. The first table is Airbnb host. So, in this table, we have four data points, host ID, nationality, gender and age. Now, as per the pointers that we have made, so we are going to use nationality and age for sure and gender is something which is not mentioned anywhere in the problem. So, it might not be used in the solution. Now, let's explore the second table that is Airbnb units. So, here we have some data points like host ID, unit ID, unit type number of beds, number of bedrooms, country and city. So again, let's filter out the columns that we might be using here because if there are so many columns or data points in a, in a particular table but all of them are not going to be used in the query. So let's understand this. Now, here I can point out that host ID is common between these two tables. So in case of any join, we can use this data point. Unit ID can be used to count the number of apartments. Let's explore the unit type in the preview section. Alright. So here we have host ID, unit ID. Unit type, we have room and apartment. So unit type is uh, something that we are going to use because we just want the number of apartments. Number of beds and bedrooms is something that we are, going, we are not going to use. Then we have country and city. Since uh, we just want the data at the nationality level, so city will not be used here. We are just going to use country. 
so now let's go back to the pointers that we have written to fabricate our strategy to write the final query so the first thing is we want to print the nationality and the count of apartments now nationality is something which is available in this airbnb hosts table but apartment count is not part of this table and it is available in the second table that is airbnb underscore units now as per the first pointer we want to print the nationality and the count of apartments and since both the columns are part of different tables that is nationality is something that we can take from airbnb hosts table whereas for apartments count we need to use airbnb units since we are going to use two different columns from two different tables then it is obvious that a join will be used here and we have already identified the joining column that is host id now let's start writing the query and then we'll be putting the filter grouping and sorting accordingly so let me write the select statement first so we want to find out the nationality so i will be aliasing the host table as table a and unit table as table b so a dot nationality now the second thing is we want to find the count of unit id so let me write unit id as apartments count now in the from section we will be using two tables the first will be airbnb hosts as a join airbnb units as b and the joining condition here will be a dot host id equals to b dot host id so we are good so far now what are the filter conditions that we want to use the second condition is we want to put a filter on age that is the age should be less than 30 so we can use a dot age should be less than 30 what else now we have explored that the unit type should be apartment because we just want to find the number of apartments so we need to add this as a filter again that is unit type and unit underscore type equals to apartment right now we want to group our records we want to group our data with respect to the nationality so we'll be writing group by a dot nationality and we want to sort our data with respect to the number of apartments count so order by apartments count descending now i will be using distinct here just to make sure that there is no duplicate entry in our records so distinct now let's run this to see the output we are getting some error uh, group by a dot nationality Uh, so there is a spelling mistake in the apartments count so i have used apartments so i i will be replacing it with n let's run this all right so in the output section we are just getting one record where nationality equals to usa and apartments count equals to 2 that is only this record is satisfying all the conditions like age of host should be less than 30 and unit type should be apartment so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this so if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this also just a reminder that in case of any problem in case of any query you can reach out to me in the comment section also if you have any problem and you want me to make a solution video on that please do share in the comment section Thank you for watching.